DC and AC motors are just the exact reverse process. If we look at that coil in the magnetic field, instead of using force to turn the coil to try and make electricity, I'm going to apply electricity to try and cause a force. So I'm going to put a current through it. So the current's going to be coming out of the screen here and into the screen there. It's going to be the same current because it's going around that coil. And we can see that there's going to be a magnetic force on it. So we're going to use the right hand rule to try and figure out the direction of that force. And so we'll do that one first on the left. Okay, so we take the fingers of our right hand and we point them up out of the screen to be the direction of the current. And then we swing them around to the direction of the magnetic field. And then our thumbs are pointing up. And so that's the direction of the force. And on the other one, we're going to have our fingers pointing in. And then we're going to swing them around to the magnetic field. And so our thumb is pointing down. And so that will be the direction of the force. And so if this is two sides of the coil, the coil is going to start to rotate. It's going to have a force turning it around. It's going to have a torque trying to make it go around in a circle. And that's just what it will do. When it gets all the way flipped over, the forces are going to be slowing it down again. And so if we're clever and we use alternating current and we swap the sign of the current, then it's going to be still pushing it forward. And then the current will swap sign again and it'll keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And that's how an AC motor works. If it's a DC motor, then the current coming in is constant, but we use a special tool to swap which wire it's connected to each half turn, and then we get the same effect as the alternating current. And that's how a DC motor works.